Well, hey there. Well, hi there. Well, hello there, Travel Start. It's Liz from Travel Start here. Thank you so much for stopping by. I know that you could spend your time absolutely anywhere, but that you choose to do it with us just makes my heart happy. So thank you so much for that. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, and become part of the Travel Start family. Let's build something amazing together, you guys. The goal has always been to build a community of travel um travel people that just are like-minded um that are kind and just want to be citizens of the world my brain went two ways all at once did you guys see that anyhow um so consider becoming part of the travel start family as i cross my tongue and my eyes and my brain apparently on that one. So today's video is actually about the environmental impact of cruise ships and um, if cruising is something that you should support. So the cruise lines in terms of their environmental impact are governed by a company called CLIA. CLIA has, has these rules and these standards and things and every year they're trying to make them better. They're trying to make cleaner, more efficient cruise lines. They're trying to reduce the amount of um, of waste that we have on the cruise lines. They want them to recycle as much as possible and they're trying to use um, the energy f from, you know, say things that, that we would consider you could just throw those out, but if they can turn that into fuel, a clean burning fuel that is not bad for the environment, that reduces the carbon footprint of the ship, then even better, right? So I was so, so happy to know that that was out there because I didn't know to ask the question. I didn't know what I didn't know. Also, there are many places in the world that are protected and they only allow so many cruise ships to come there at any given time because they don't want their ecosystem to be destroyed. And there are many companies that actually are helping to say rebuild the reefs in places where they have sustained heavy damage and they are working really hard to make sure that you know gray water is only is only offloaded at the appropriate areas and making sure that the ocean is is not dirtier because we have cruise ships out and aboard out and about on the water now can you run a cruise ship with zero emissions and zero waste no they are typically city sized uh, vessels that are on the ocean but the goal is to minimize as much of that as absolutely possible. So you have to have that conversation from a very conscientious point, which is there's no way to run a city size vessel without having recyclables, without having some form of waste and without having some form of emissions. But isn't it great to know that we are minimizing and reducing that and working, you know, day in and day out to make that that carbon footprint even smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. You know, who knows, by the time I have great-grandchildren, they may have figured out a way to actually um, eliminate all waste and to recycle everything aboard the cruise ships and, you know, we may not have that problem uh, thanks to the efforts of CLIA and lots of people and lots of cruise ships that are working super, super hard to make sure that these cruise liners are as safe as they can be and not harming our, our delicate ecosystems. We have too many, uh, too many mammals, too many fish that are going extinct, too many ecosystems that have been irreparably damaged and we got to do better. I'm just saying. Um, so, but it's good to know that we have people that are working hard to that end. So this was not a long video, but it was worth, it was worth actually getting the information out there on my channel because we're all trying to be better citizens of this world. Uh, many cruise lines have gotten rid of plastic straws because they were they were harming um, sea life, marine life. Um, one cruise line got rid of the little individual butter packets because of the the papers. And you, as a normal person, you think, oh my gosh, it's just it's just like a piece of paper. What's the big deal? But if I'm using three of the little butter packets with the paper, and you're on a cruise ship that houses four thousand people, and two thousand of those people are using three of those packets, it adds up, 
really quickly right so they're making steps both small and small uh, small and large to to make sure that cruising is sustainable without damaging our ecosystem further so um i'm always happy to know that it's not the most fun topic but it's an important one right okay so that is it that's it for now i'm sure i'll think of something else in the should I take a cruise series? But for now, I think that that's it. So um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell and all that great stuff. Become part of the Travel Start community. Get social with us. Don't forget to join our mailing list so you can keep up to date on new things that are coming up with Travel Start and new posts and, and travel inspiration and travel specials and all that good stuff. And I will see you on the very next video, okay? Bye guys, bye.